Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Oh, yeah, now, we finally got the lesson, broom, y'all. Fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do <laughs> take care. This is brilliant. The brooms are <laughs> school proper. <sighs> I want them returned I think in I'm one getting the piece. hang of this. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? You, you already know I handle all my exercises beautifully. <laughs> this next set of rings will all right, let's take get some speed going. Oh, oh my god! What a view! Yo, this is low key <laughs> fucking amazing, bro. Hello! Nice day for a flight! Yes! <laughs> Hi, Ben Man, it's your boy. <laughs> Spotty <laughs> Crenator today, guess what? This is rather fun. I'm playing some more Hogwarts. I can see. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. I wanted to play Quidditch, man. This sucks because I just seen uh, the, the developers said they had no plans to drop any DLC for the game. And it sucks, it sucks, it sucks. But I don't know, this is a pretty large oh, game. Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance. Oh, hell no. Don't, you, don't make that appearance while I'm here. This is crazy. You see the world? You see the world? The, the views? Maybe. Oh, did views from the hall? Oh, shit. I know what you're thinking. Oh. <laughs> well done. Wait, were we racing? Have a moment. What you want to talk about, boy? I see. Say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. So, care to join me for a bit of high-flying fun? When we get into trouble, man, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. After that, last, after that last incident with the potions class... Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow me. I guess we ain't have a choice. The tour is about to I be. I kind of expected that though. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Okay, okay, okay. I wonder if I can edit the controls nice to get for above this. It all, isn't it? Woo! 
<laughs> Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Yeah, how is he? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Lean forward. Oh, snap. Now that's more like it. I go crazy. You sure you're not part hippogriff? All right, so it's it's like a little There's meter. The famous right. bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, <laughs> look at it. And Meowlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. <laughs> Look at the Quidditch, man, and you can't play Quidditch. Look at the look at the arena. Yo, I'm I'm kind of fighting the fucking camera. I ain't gonna lie. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Yo, he going fast as hell. God damn, Everett. He's about to make traversing the map so much easier. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're I... still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor. Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good fly. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Ah, right, damn, I got a buy broom out of <clears throat> Oh, man. I already don't get... You don't get a whole lot of galleons. I was, uh... I was looking up how to get more or how to farm them, but it seems you have to... You know, like, when you get the option to, um... When you get the option to... Uh, what's the word? What's the word? It's got a class... But it seems when you get the I've option not to about our library God venture. Damn it. How did you fare? Yeah. If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. It seems that when you uh, oh my I required assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. <laughs> Please hey. meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. All right. Let's just go to potions class. I like that they sped up the process with How the classes. It's more so on. just a uh, like a cutscene now. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. 
Do not let your mind wander. I lucky thought he was gonna teach me a spell. I mean, a, a potion, but because that's what my assignments were. But I guess not. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, I think you should. Perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. Actually, the enchanted books here. All right, let, let's see what the po the pelso do. The pelso. The pelso. Well done. I'm glad oh, what, to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spell casting. Oh, I can't wait to use that. All right, man. Let's see what the uh what the next quest is. Ooh, we got we got Loki a little. We got a lot. We got a lot. I want to do this right here. I want to get some galleons. Some galleons. <laughs> um. In the shadow of the Undercroft, I could probably find Sebastian at his usual spot near the defense of the Dark Arts Castle. I mean, here. My rewards. I get the Conjuring spell. Oh, snap. Let's go do this one. And then we're going to see what, uh, we're going to see what Sebastian's talking about. I'll probably do the, uh, I'll probably go see what, uh, Pippin's want off camera. I think handy resource indeed. Like when I come back, I'll probably, uh, probably have a lot of a lot of galleons i'll probably be like how he get all them galleons he's hacking you know i don't know it's been it's been a, it's been a hard it's been a time trying to trying to acquire them because i've had to uh i had to go buy some potions in order to complete the class i wanted to buy the uh the recipe so I where did it go oh there you go hey if you ever see these it's gonna be a side mission and she's gonna um it's gonna be a girl that tells you about these dandelions, right? What you want to do is you want to follow them. I don't know what they give you yet because I haven't acquired enough. But you come here, you just follow them to their little chest. You want to catch them while they're going across to the the keyhole, and then you just slap yes. their ass in it. <laughs> they're gonna give you house tokens. You're gonna to take that to your common room. So, um, for the most part, you just collect them. Honestly, uh, other than that. You're all set. And then once you once you get enough, I don't know what it gives you. I haven't opened a chest yet, but I'll probably show y'all, you know, once I open the chest. Professor Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. Now, what he did was mannerable, what is this place? but smart. This is the room of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident, if ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. I got just a spell. Hold up. Am I? Oh, no. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away.
All right, let's equip Evanesso. Oh, what the heck? Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. The pulsar. No wrong one. Excellent work. Oh, snap. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. All right. This one was pretty lit. I ain't gonna lie. It reminds me of uh, name is that elf. It reminds me of the area you fight Renala in an elder. Is that goodness? My hey. old school bag. I wonder where that had got to. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of uh, parchment than here. you expected. I'll just you take a meet. quick oh, look yes. at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. No. Yes, Professor. She finding old oh, stuff in here. Dear me, can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Well, yeah. When he said uh, after you, you could tell he was skeptical, man. Like that go for real life, yo. Don't let nobody. <laughs> if you if you skeptical about something, I would. Know. Why would you drink some old? That's some old tea. You did. That tea is rotten. If somebody ever try to lead you somewhere, you always suggest that they go first. That's just, that's just a little life lesson from your boy sports. I mean, like, I don't know. I, I hope y'all are never in no, never in no jam or nothing like that where you would need to do something like that. Oh, what? But I don't know. The, like the way she tried to lead us in there. It was a little skeptical. Oh, thank God. And I just, all right, so I did the, uh, all right, just to let y'all know. So I did the Merlin trials. I did like one of them. And I think each of them advances your, your, oh, we gonna equip that, what the heck? Each of them advances, I mean, uh, make sure, what am I trying to say? Uh, increases your inventory storage, so. I highly suggest that y'all do the Merlin trials. They not hard, honestly. The one I did was uh, this isn't as precarious pretty easy. As it looks. I hear that some of them could be extensive, but I think there's only like five of them. Bit offended the room that thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. Uh, the room thought you needed a bath? God dang, must be going crazy. Oh, this is crazy. I ain't gonna... Have y'all ever been, uh... Y'all ever did the uh, thing where you released a little the little lights in the air they look like this like this little paper mache i don't know paper to mache, but get around it it be it comes around like every uh every couple years you just go to this little area you had your little lantern thing release it in the air to was everybody that a one time stitch? Revelio. perhaps you should summon your wits and find out <laughs> <laughs> 41 Gallion. Akio. Revelio. Now, how the heck was I supposed to? Let me see. Akio. Come here. Come here, box. I didn't know what I thought it was going to do. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. How are we going to get over there? How are we going to get over here? Oh, wait, hold Incendio. up. All right, I guess, I guess we ain't supposed to be destroying school property like that. How we get over here, though? Akio. Incendio. Is there a way behind her? Akio. I hope that house elf can find us in here. 
right, I'm back. I, I had some I had to take care of real quick. But we back at it. We back at it. What the heck? Who just throwing stuff around? Is that the elf? Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deke's seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes, imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Hey, go. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You've unlocked the desk of deception description. Use it to reveal the magical properties of any unidentified gear that you've collected. Oh, I... I don't You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. 
You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. See, he asked the right questions. It's all more useful when I have something to identify. Uh, let's put this right here. Oh, wow. I can really like, oh, I can make like, I can basically like, this is like the Sims. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I can really like, you know, like, uh, you know, customize my little, my little room. But oh, this is hard. All right, we already got a desk description. Oh, so it's just different designs. Okay, um, let's go. Let's go with the scientific. Oh, this is this is this is good. This is good. Yeah. Let's put, let's put down a herbology unless I already just, unless, unless I just put that, I just put down a herbology. <laughs> All right. Um, let's put them right next to each other. Honestly. All right. I don't think I can. I don't think I can. I'll probably redo it like later. <laughs> well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Quest complete. All right, let's uh. Read the tasks I've given you, and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. All right, uh, we might as uh. Let me see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Acquire the invisibility potion. Acquire and use a thunder brew potion. All right, we gotta, we gotta look at a lot of new. Um, all right, so here's what we do. We'll go meet Sebastian and then I'll go work on this stuff off camera and I'll get back with y'all. When, when the time, when the time is right. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment. 
in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. I ain't gonna lie, Sebastian. Look, this time you asking me to do something. So if you get in There's trouble, a secret passage. I just want just you to know here. I ain't taking a fall. It's well disguised. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. I feel bad I about Sebastian's sister, man. Again. I should tell you, I Revelli swear to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. We never confide you in but he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. And it's crazy nobody really trying to help him with his sister, man. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Understood. Why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like Ominous. He frowns upon using forbidden spells. Although he did enjoy learning this one. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Oh, that's now we about to learn one it of these forbidden jobs. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Let's make it happen. You're getting it. Oh, let's Ready. equip it. Let's equip it. Let's equip it. Eyes out. Confringo. Stick oh, to the target, snap. though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Oh, my fault. Have a go at those I, I mean to break it up. Both <laughs> have their uses, but I do nice work. Oh, them little How goblins ain't gonna have shit on me. It's a tad hot. Well, that's it. I think I've got it. Done. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. 
Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of this secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. All when right. I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. So the thing that alright, the thing that um that worries me, right? Is a lot of the stuff isn't on the map. Like my room isn't on the map. Um Certain things aren't on the map. It's kind of like just fast travel points. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the Headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to- What's with all this goddamn animosity? What the- boy? Do you- Confringo. Better- Yeah. Yo, what? He was a yo. You got, you got a little shit. You got a little bark for a little blind boy. I swear to God. <laughs> Look, man. Hey, I'm gonna see y'all in the next one, man. I love y'all to death. Peace. Hold up. Let's Come see and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. Alright man, peace man.